Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my finale for my Rocking Around the Christmas Tree Project Pan for 2020. We're almost to the end of the year, guys. We've almost made it. Let's get into the products that I have in this project. This was kind of a short and sweet one, but I do have some decent progress and some surprises in both directions for this project. So the first product that I put in here was my Luscious Angel Eyeshadow Primer. And this one, as of the last update, was 15.206 grams. And it is now 14.889 grams. So I've been doing good remembering to use eyeshadow primer, which is actually quite a surprise. My Wet n Wild Crush Rubies, this one keeps coming into all my Christmas projects this is the one can you hear me knocking the stuff everywhere this is the one that i love to use for christmas because it's red and glittery and this is christmas in a bottle to me so this one has gone from 13.154 grams to 12.838 grams so i am down under that 12 or 13 mark or into the 12 mark so we are getting there guys we'll see how many years this lasts I may have to actually like put this in a legitimate pan to get it out of here sooner or later but for now it is still good the next one that I can't believe I didn't finish but here we are is my chestnut blush from Clinique and this is all that's left you see that there's just the tiniest bit left. So that, we will see. That'll end up eventually being a gimme product, but apparently not for three months worth of use. I thought for sure this was one I'd get done and it did not happen. The next thing on my list is the Jelly Belly Blue Polish. And this one, that's it started up here and I'm pretty sure I'm down here. I keep trying to get the light to go through it and I can't tell because I could see here and I can see down here. And so we'll see. I've used this a bunch. I've enjoyed having all these in here because I had pink polish forever in my 50 Shades of Pink. There's still some left, but this was a very welcome break from using the pink, pink polishes. So the other two polishes that I had in here, these are a surprise. These are both gone. This is the white fleck and the red LA colors. This came in a duo like this. I think it was like a dollar store thing. But those two are both finished completely. I finished them on this manicure, or I should say my husband finished them on this manicure. He had a good grand old time painting my nails for Christmas a few days ago. So those two are gone. Two more polishes out of my inventory. Next is the Cover Effects Brightening Shade. This one is looking like this, and it's got a decent dip, but more surprising maybe the actual powder because that's what I've been pulling out since this palette's sitting here and setting with when I need to. So that's what the brighten shade you can see right there the side pan the dip in the center there but that one is going to continue to live on as most of the products in here. So the next thing is my Lilac Illusion lipstick. I use it as an eyeshadow and it was in like a lipstick tube and it's moved into here. And this was quite overflowing, quite full when I moved it into here. And so it's gotten some more progress and I don't know why I moved it in. It's, I should have just, I, I should have just let it go. But can't do that because that's who I am. So I have it to continue to use up. I had to dig it out. I just had to dig it up. All right. The My Favorite Night Balm. This one was brand new when it moved in here. And it stayed up by my bed because otherwise I would never bring it back upstairs. But it has moved down to there from being a completely new tube. I unwrapped it like two days before I started this project. So that's some good progress. That's I use this every night. In longer projects, it really is just a give me product, a long-term give me product. 
my Avon resurfacing expert. This one has done the move very slightly, but it has been used. And this is one that sits on my shelf, on my skincare shelf, and I forget about it. So this is very good progress for having it sit here regularly being forgotten. So that's where we're at there. I'll keep it around, move it into something else hopefully so I keep remembering to use it maybe because it pops up on my in my spreadsheets for this but for now I say that is good progress then the vinyl thing another thing I thought I would get through and did not Maybelline color sensation clear liner and guys I'm just not really a lip liner person so this is what's left and I had my son help me mark. So when he marked it, I got a big smoosh. So it went from up here at the top of this mark to the bottom of this mark. So I can't really remark it, but it did move some. But I really forget to use this. I did use it a bunch with the Wet n Wild gloss, so it didn't really travel as much as it normally would. But it's a decent gloss to stay put. So I'm just learning that maybe I'm not a lip liner person at all. So that'll be a thing it's here when i need it otherwise it is what it is so anyhow that is everything for the rocket around the christmas tree finale i hope you'll stick around check out what's coming next year there's some exciting projects for 2021 i hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are and until the next time i will talk to you all later